Hello everyone, this is Tommy coming to you with a video that is just a vlog. Um, this is my weekend at Bolsa this past weekend. Uh, it wasn't particularly great. Saturday, this is Saturday and it actually turned out to be good. There was a, a, an amazing glass off at around 10, 1030. And by that time, everyone was out of the water. And so it's probably one of the, the better days I was out. But unfortunately, my GoPro wigged out. Uh, I want to say the battery died. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Um, but I am giving you all, all the videos of me, good and bad, falling, um, <laughs> just doing goofy stuff. Now, this here is Sunday. Started out glassy and then ends up windy. So kind of the opposite of Saturday, which started out bumpy, ended up glassy. Um, the first day on Saturday I was, where I was surfing the Modern 2 and this one here is my twice baked. Um, I chose to take the twice baked out because it looked like a really soft day and so I figure I needed a little bit more width uh, to my surfboard, a little bit more volume. The Sharp Eye is 29 liters while the twice baked comes in at 31 but the extra width helps a lot so if you had two boards that were the same height, same volume, but one of them was, let's say, an inch wider. The one that's an inch wider would catch waves a little easier and it would plane uh, and get up to speed quicker. So that's important when you think about choosing a groveler. Just make sure it's got enough width. Um, here, again, just showing you my good and bad. And I'm actually showing you the waves kind of like me paddling into them so that way you kind of get a sense now this was my best wave but i just choked i don't know what happened there i think the board i, I was getting used to the longer boards and so now hopping back on a 5.3 i just pushed that nose right in but um this was on my way out i just picked one up on the inside uh, as you can see the outside it's a little bit better but it was very inconsistent so it wasn't like um you could sit out there and just catch those uh, a lot of them were either too soft, closed out, and I think this is one of my longer waves. Oh, actually, this one turned out to be pretty good. Um, I little I bog right here, but managed to get through this little steep section, and I get a little credit card error. Yay! And then I do the hair flick. So, and I think this one I caught on the way out again. So. I spend most of my time just surfing the little stuff on the inside, but you can do that when you have a super groveler. Um, 21 and a half inches wide, 31 liters. So, a lot of times it's nice to have the volume, but actually have a board short enough so you can kind of tic tac it around and, and flick it around. I think my 60 Sunday coming in at 38 liters would have been. Uh, uh, okay but that one i think is only like 20 inches wide like 20 and a half so it's pretty narrow a lot narrower than this board so it doesn't plane as well so, but the leaders would have helped but then i would not have been able to flick it around uh, as as uh, easily as this particular board now here i do one turn as you can see my front leg was uh, stiff not straight but then right there i bent my knee and that's why i, I kind of bogged so it's really important when you go on a heel side turn, just straighten up that front leg, which puts all the weight in the back, uh, allows you to do that turn. And I probably should have just raced that section. Again, paddling out, catching all the crappy stuff on the inside, just goofing around, having fun. Um, I don't have any new boards to review. I'd like to. Um, I sold three boards, so I think I almost have the funds to go go <laughs> get a new board. I sold three used boards. I even sold my old 5.8 Spitfire. Uh, someone was super stoked to get it, which I was really happy about. Uh, I didn't think uh, someone would want that. You know, it's kind of an older yellowing board, but in decent shape, and so uh, pretty much gave it away for a hundred bucks felt good about it though because uh, the person that bought it seemed really excited to buy it so now I am really close to pulling the trigger and I just have to decide what board I really want to get I'm hoping that uh, uh, I can look at the mid six 
I don't know if you guys have watched that video of Kevin Scholes just ripping on that board. And I want to know what a mere mortal can do on that board. Uh, I do like the fact that it's a thruster setup. I wish it had a quad box setup, uh, but you know, Harley Ingleby and and uh, Kevin Scholes, they rip on that board. So him pulling air on it just got me all motivated to want to try it. Uh, not the airs, but just try to surf it and see if it's even, you know, in the realm of reality. And hopefully you guys can see it and uh, appreciate uh you know the board but anyways this here is my last wave and again just putting out a video because it's been a while and i'll try to get some actual content out soon but thanks for watching see you guys later